So the idea is that what we're going to do is we're going to lay our, our specimen. Which side is the anatomically correct side? Left side up. Okay, so if we're looking at the specimen, this is left, right. Left side up is the proper side. So what we're going to do is take our specimen. We're going to measure from the tip of the snout to the very tip of the tail in a straight line. Mm -hmm. That is total length. Then we're going to take from the tip of the snout. Notice how there's this bend, this part where the fin bends. You know, it's like right there where the meat ends and it starts to turn. You can start to see the individual tritue force of the fin. That's the standard length. So we want to measure from the tip of the snout to right about here. Okay. Okay. That would be stand, uh, standard length. So then the next part of this is to actually identify whether it's a male or female. Now, I know what I'm going to tell you is going to, you might get confused at first, but males will look like a hot dog. They usually have a track that goes from their anus, this is the anus right here, mm -hmm. to the anal fin. This is actually a female. Because it's not long enough? Right. Okay. So the fi thing is it's broad and then it tapers. This is called, um, so this is kind of, these are, these are fish that place their eggs. So they actually, the female will turn upside down and lay their eggs underneath a rock or some submerged mm -hmm. object. And they're actually shooting the egg out through that tube and then placing it very precisely where they want it. Okay. Uh, so, so females will have this kind of fat to, I kind of suggest it kind of looks a little bit like a flower when you look at it. Uh, so if you kind of look at this whole object, it kind of looks like a flower. You know, it's kind of round and then it's got this little flat um, part coming out the back side, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the female. Okay, the males, Will hit, it won't be. It'll be the same length the whole way down, and it'll be much longer, and it'll probably come all the way down to the anal fin origin. Okay. okay? So it's more uniform in size. More uniform in size. Yeah. It, it'll definitely look hot dog shaped, and it'll be sitting in a two. It'll be like a groove in the body, and that's what you'd want to measure. I'm surprised it's external. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Isn't that that's interesting? Cool. <laughs> so, so that's all you got to do, okay. and then get a weight. Okay. And if we if that scale is not going to work, what we have is the scale next to it. Mm -hmm. And ideally, we'd like to get at least two decimal places, if not three, because that would be to our advantage. With those goats, do we need to worry about moisture or no? Because no. it tears it out. No, it tears, tears it out. Okay. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll record a residual. So, like, let's say it's dripping wet, which we would prefer you not to use a dripping wet specimen. You can blot them dry just gently with paper towel and then put them on. Mm -hmm. But let's say you then pick them up and you look at the scale, and the scale says it weighs. 0.12 grams. That's your residual. You would write that on your data sheet. So you take your wet weight minus your residual. Or plus your residual sometimes it could be 